question two, you're told the graph of the curve with equation y is equal to 16 over x squared minus x over 2 plus 1 is shown. The finite region R, which is the shaded region here, the shaded region, is bounded by the lines x equal to 1, the x-axis, and the curve. The curve crosses the x-axis at the point 4, 0. Complete the table with the values of y corresponding to x equal to 2 and x is equal to 2.5. So we put 2 in for x, we're going to get 16 over 4 minus 2 over 2 plus 1, which is 4. And we may need our calculator for 2.5, 16 divided by 2.5 squared. You may be able to do this in your head, but if you can, you are amazing. So just type that into a calculator and you get 2.31. Second part of this question, you're asked to use the trapezoidal rule with all the values from the table to find an approximate value for the area of R correct to two decimal places. So the trapezoidal rule, h over 2, where h is the gap between the values. So in this case, we have a 0.5 for h. And then first plus the last plus twice the rest Add it together is the way you should probably remember this so that's the first one which is 16.5 the last one is zero you can put the zero in plus twice the rest added together 7.361 plus 4 plus 2.31 plus 1.278 plus 0.556 so type all i would type these in first Add them together, multiply it by 2, that will give a value of 31.01, 16.5 added to that, and a half divided by 2, well that's a quarter, so we're going to get a quarter of this, quarter of 47.51, which is going to give us 11.8775, correct to 2 dp, 11.88. And always put in your units squared when we're asked for area. Part C, you're asked to use integration to find the exact area of R. So it might be easier just to write the x squared on top here. 16x to the minus 2 minus, well that's going to be a half x. So we're going to put the number in plus 1. And we're integrating that between 4 and 1. So let's do that. We're going to get where we increase the power. So be careful not to go to minus 3, which is a decrease. We're going to 16x to the minus 1. We're increasing the power by 1 and dividing by that new power. So we're going to have minus 1 over 2, x squared. And we're also going to be dividing by 2. So that's going to give a 4 on the bottom. Plus x, we don't need to see because they'll cancel off. And that's between 4 and 1. So can write it up here the 16x to the minus 1 is minus 16 over x and we're going to have minus x squared over 4 and plus x between the regions of 4 and 1 so if we put our 4 in we're going to get minus 16 over 4 minus 16 over 4 plus 4 and we're going to take away when we put 1 in, so we're going to get minus 16 over 1, minus 1 over 4, plus 1. And simplifying this down, this is going to give me minus 4, minus 4, plus 4. So that's just going to give me a minus 4. And this right-hand side is going to give me minus 16, min minus 16 and a quarter for these two, plus 1. So minus 15 and a quarter. So that's going to give me minus 4 plus 15 and a quarter or 15.25, which is going to be 11.25. And we can see it's pretty close to the 11.88. So part D, we're asked to find the percentage error between the approximate and exact. So percentage error, the difference between them is going to be, we got 11.88, 11.88 minus 11.25 divided by what the exact value was which is 11.25 we're going to multiply that by 100 so percentage area you probably did in first year 
So now you're applying it to an integration question. And if you type this into your calculator, it comes out at 5.6%.